Hi all, welcome to the November webinar, Tips and Tools on Community Discussions. My name is Sarah Manley and I'm a Director of Community Support here at Wikia. Today joining me is Sansei carter Cushway, also a Director of Community Support, and Danny Horn, a Senior Product Manager. Before we get started, uh, just so you know, we have some help behind the scenes from Bert Hall. So if you have any questions, feel free to use the GoToMeeting uh, software to answering questions. So uh, we'll get started. Today we're going to overview how to start, manage, and develop community discussions on your wiki. What to work towards and what to avoid. And what tools to use for these different types of discussions that you have. As you all know, collaboration is the key to a wiki, but with it can come challenges. Collaborating with others is hard in person. Now make it online with strangers and it's even trickier. But amazingly on Wikia, we see it work each and every day. It continually amazes all of us that our contributors can collaborate together to make such detailed and often inspirational content. Today our webinar will focus on how this works, how to encourage it, and tools we hope will help you with this. To start, Sansei will review the types of discussions that often take place on a wiki what to work towards and what to avoid. Next, Danny will take us through the different tools available to host these discussions, including a sneak peek at our new forum software he's been working hard on. Hi all, this is Sansei. I've been on 10 wikis for about 10 years now and I've participated in a lot of community discussions. So one of the earliest I can remember was on the Grammy Award talk page on Wikipedia. I was trying to add pages for as many different awards as I could and found that Deciding on the exact format for each page was much easier when there were other editors around to talk over ideas. So in my time as editor and staff member, I've looked at discussions of all sorts from high level theory, page design, content questions. These discussions have sometimes been very productive and sometimes been very harmful to the community. It's important in all discussions to make sure the goal is to be helpful rather than harmful. So let's start with an overview of the when community discussions are needed. And do remember that every community is different. So anything I mention can be adjusted to work for your community specifically. So let's talk about the things that should be discussed by a community. Really any big discussion, any big decision rather that changes something fundamental about the wiki should be discussed by the community first. For example, you could be changing the wiki's features if you're removing polls or turning on chat it's probably something that you need to get other people's opinions first. Or if you have leadership changes, if you need new admins or bureaucrats, it's good to make sure they'll be welcomed by the wider community. And if you're making major changes to your policies and the way the wiki works, for example, by allowing fan on articles for the first time, it's something that needs to be talked about. And with the content itself, it's not practical to talk over every edit. But if you're making a major change that affects a lot of pages, it's worth checking with others first. For example, if you were changing a big group of pages about film stars from first name first to last name first for their title, it's probably something you should discuss with other people on the wiki. And if you're making controversial changes, some of the longest discussions I've seen have been about controversial issues. For example, there was a big discussion I remember on the Star Wars fanon where they were talking about whether the term fanon should be replaced with fan fiction. It led to a big community discussion and is a good example of a time when a conversation is necessary. And of course, you can always discuss something you aren't sure of or you want a second opinion about. It doesn't have to be a big thing to start a conversation. The most important things to consider when you're participating in a discussion are the timing, the tone, and your interpretation of what's going on. You want to be sure you're thinking of the big picture and keeping what's best for the wiki in mind. Let's start by looking at the timing. There's a few parts to this, when to have a conversation, how long to continue it, and how often to weigh in. When you're online, there's members of your community all around the world. It's, this is important to remember, the time you post a message may be the middle of the night for another member. So you may not get an immediate response. After you post a new discussion or a reply, give it a couple of days to be seen by others. And if you still don't get an answer, you can always contact other active members directly and ask them to come over and have a look. 
Another important factor in timing is choosing when to start the conversation and how long to let it run for. If a decision has a deadline or a date it needs to be made by, you should start with plenty of time to meet it. I'd say at least two weeks before usually allows everyone to participate. And if there isn't a, a deadline, then there isn't really a set time. It's more about when the conversation feels finished. It's best not to allow a discussion to go way beyond the stage where everyone's had their say and a final decision has been made and you're just going on about the same stuff. But you also need to be sure everyone's had enough time. And if the conversation is drifting into new topics, it's often best to split that into a new conversation. Now let's talk about tone, which really is one of the most important things to consider during a conversation. Since most wiki discussions are written, it's important to think about the words you use and the way you structure the conversation, the details you provide and how that will show seem to others. The tone you should aim towards is open. Consider that there's always other perspectives and valid, valid points of view. And you should be non-confrontational. Be careful to use language that doesn't come across as angry or aggressive. And you should be inclusive. Try to include others and ask for their other opinions. You need to be caring and calm. Remember you're all trying to do what's right for the wiki. So work to find solutions that will help everyone do that. And offer up solutions. Show you're listening to all sides by demonstrating you understand others' points of view, even if you don't agree with them. And work to include those in the solution you offer up. On this slide, there's a good example that's paraphrased from an actual wiki conversation. It's clear, it's open, it's working towards a solution, and it's very inclusive. These type of messages show the community your respect in their ideas and their dedication and working towards improving the wiki. And then there's the things to avoid, like negative and condescending messages. The focus of the discussion should be about improvement and not about one person being better or more correct than another. That's only going to lead to conflict. And try to avoid acting superior. No matter your rank on a wiki, community members are all equal people. Admins may have more rights to maintain the wiki, but they aren't on some higher plane than others. And try not to be too ambiguous or to write carelessly. If the discussion is important to you, take the time to be clear and careful in what you say, as well as in how you say it. Sloppy writing generally does not come off well. And avoid being inflexible. Be open to other thoughts and the conversation will flourish rather than be halted. So here you can see an example of a bad tone. The message is abrupt, inflexible and unfriendly. It's talking arrogantly and doesn't leave room for other people to participate in the conversation. So once you have your message crafted, before you post, remember to double check what you've written. Reading it through again is always a good idea. And check your presentation. Make sure the style is clear and it doesn't detract from what you're saying. And always keep in mind the greater good. Ask yourself, will this be better for the community as a whole, not just a particular user or a group of users? And as the discussion develops, read responses and give others time to answer. Remember to check in on how you're reading the conversation. Make sure you're understanding what others have written and not just looking at what you think they mean. Be sure to give others the benefit of the doubt and remind yourself not to apply preconceived opinions on their response. This is really one of the most difficult things to do, but it will help you in understanding what others are really saying and help you be a fair participant in the conversation. Something I've noticed in my own interactions is that it's very easy to misinterpret people based on your own biases. In one case, early in my internet life, I had a message from a forum participant I didn't like very much. I read it as aggressive and hateful. Then I realized I'd misread and was actually from somebody I respected highly. Rereading it, it seemed to have transformed into a positive and wise message, and all because of my preconceptions. That was a very valuable lesson in how our own feelings can affect how we affect how we understand others. So this is something I always look out for in my conversations today. And depending on your discussion, a decision might be made by a vote, but I'd encourage you to work towards a consensus rather than just a majority rules decision. 
Consensus means you're looking for a general agreement from the participants rather than a simple vote count. That means that compromise and finding middle ground may a major part in the final decision. Decision making in a community works best when there's flexibility on both sides and a goal to put the community first. So look for compromise and see if you can find ways to bring people together. But of course, at times there may be conflicts and if it does emerge, it's your job to try and reduce it. Try to keep these things in mind as you work through a conflict. To focus on reducing rather than encouraging differences, look for areas you can agree. And sometimes it's good to leave the disagreement areas aside for later discussion. And look to find common ground and midpoint between the two sides. Another trick is to switch venue. Use a different form of communication, say use chat instead of a forum or go to a talk page for a while to, to give a break to the communication and see if that helps. Or you can take a breather, focus on another aspect of the wiki for a short while. That's often a very good idea when things get heated. And then you can bring in an outside party, contact other admins or even wiki or staff if you need to, to get another point of view. So a final thought for me is just to ask to remember that the people you're talking to online are real people with real feelings and opinions behind every username. Just because you're online doesn't mean this isn't real life. Everything you say and do has an impact on others and on the wiki, so always keep that in mind. And if you have any questions, please send them in and I'll answer them in the Q&A. Thanks so much, Sanse. That was really helpful and all your experience and working with communities is, is really insightful to hear about. Uh, I just want to let everybody know who's just arrived or arrived when we already started. There is a, a Q&A uh, tool within the software, so feel free to send in questions and also feel free to send in examples. I know many of you have gone through probably some tough discussions or really amazing discussions on your wiki, so feel free to write in and, and share your story if you'd like to do that as well. And also, I know some folks, if you, if you have any sound issues, also let us know. We can try to adjust the mic as well. So now we're gonna move over to Danny, who's gonna fill us in on features he's worked on and an exciting feature he's working on currently. Hi, I'm Danny Horn. I'm a product manager here at Wikia. Um, I actually started on Wikia as a user, as a contributor in 2005 when I founded Muppet Wiki with some friends. Um, and I immediately fell in love with this whole process of, of building a website together and doing collaborative writing. Um, I got so involved in it that I started working for Wikia in 2007. Um, and really one of the things that I love the most about it is that we're a community of writers. You know, this is one of the few places on the internet where people really talk in paragraphs. Um, conversations tend to be really thoughtful and really deep. Um, we're a passionate people, the Wiki people. Um, so as a product manager, uh, my job here is to create new features and to improve on existing ones. And for the last couple of years, uh, my projects have been focused on helping people have those kinds of thoughtful and interesting conversations. So the big goal for all of my projects is to make those conversations more accessible and more efficient. Um, they're the tools that we inherited from MediaWiki long ago um, are sometimes not as easy to use as, uh, as we'd like to think. So I've been working a lot on that stuff. What we're going to do is overview the main tools that we've got and talk about when to use them. So I'll start with chat. Um, chat is a fairly new feature, about a year ago. It's an optional feature that admins can turn on in wiki features, and it's really a great way to get to know other contributors. Um, it helps to avoid a lot of those misunderstandings that Sansei was talking about because you can get to know the people a little bit more. It feels more like a real conversation. Um, it's also a really good starting point for new contributors who have questions or they need encouragement before they jump in and start contributing. Um, as Sansei said, should remember that contributors can be from all around the world. Um, some of them live in different time zones. Some are students, some adults. Some have full-time jobs. Some are online all the time. And so that means that chat isn't always the best place to have one of those really big, important community discussions, especially if it's supposed to result in a decision. Um, because of all those differences about who's available, people are going to be left out. And those people may not know what the decision is or how you got there. So it's usually best if a big discussion starts in chat that at a certain point you take it to a more permanent place that everybody can see, like a forum. Um, also remember that in chat, the real time 
can magnify some differences in how people write. Um, some people type really fast, some people slow, uh, some people stop and think before they will post anything, and some people just jump in swinging, and I tend to be one of those people. Uh, and uh, people who aren't as fast can get run over and left behind, and people who are super fast um, can sometimes overreact and blow something up really quickly. So if the chat doesn't feel like a good discussion, it's probably best to leave it and then take the discussion to another place where people have more time to think about what they write. Uh, to have a direct conversation, the place to go is to a user's message wall or to their user talk page. Some of the things that uh, people use those for is to thank someone for something that they've added to the wiki, um, to ask them a question, ask for clarification about something that they've done, uh, sometimes just to show off something that you've done because you want help um, or you want to show them an example or you're just showing off because you just added something great. Um, also, if another contributor has done something wrong or they've broken a rule, the message wall or the talk page is a good place to give them guidance. Um, now remember, even though this, these conversations are directed originally to another person, uh, all of our conversations on the wiki are open. So other people can see everything and they can jump in and participate too. One thing that's been hard about traditional media wiki conversation systems uh, is how you get notified when someone responds. Um, if you're following a user talk page, you'll get notifications, usually an email, about discussions that you're not a part of. It's not just sort of focused on the discussion. It's focused on that whole page. So for the message wall in the new forum system, We've built this new notification system that you can see in the slide, which helps you keep track of all the conversations that you're involved with. The way that it works is on the message wall, you're automatically notified about discussions that are happening on your wall. Um, and you're automatically signed up to follow conversations that you participate in. Um, if you make a reply to something, then you're following that. You can turn that off and on if, if you've had your say, you don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, and you can also just click follow on a conversation that you haven't participated in, just to keep watching it without having to actually jump in yourself. And so the notifications appear in the top right, and it'll take you directly to the conversation that you're involved with. So you don't have to um, hunt around on a page. You go straight to the, the thread where, you're, uh, where you've got something new. So uh, big community discussions usually happen on a forum. Um, it's a community space where anyone can start conversations and talk with other contributors. And it's really good as a record of past decisions or the process that uh, came up with those decisions. Um, so first, I'm going to show you the current media with the forums and then the new forum system that we're just about to release. So the traditional media wiki forums are in their own main space. Um, mostly people find the forum under the community tab in the top wiki nav. Uh, the landing page goes to forum colon index. Um, the index page is sort of the welcome mat and the guide to help find conversations. So on these kinds of forums, uh, you'll see like on the slide um, that there are different categories uh, with different types of conversations. This screenshot's from Community Central. And so the, the kinds of conversations that they have there are support requests, general discussion, and uh, requests to adopt a wiki. And so here's an example from community of uh, the kinds of support requests. Once you go into that uh, forum category page, you see the threads. Um, and then you can, from there, read or participate or start a new discussion. Um, on some wikis, the forums are active. Some of them, not so much. Um, there are some things about forums that make them a little less efficient. Um, and that's stuff that we've been working on. Um, so on these forums, as with user talk pages, there's no clear notification when you've got a response. Um, it usually comes through email rather than an alert actually on the site. Um, creating a new thread in these forums usually means adding templates to a page. And so new people who are looking for help may not be sure exactly how to do that. Um, and it's difficult to search and it's hard to find interesting threads with the system. So ta-da, the new forums. <laughs> this is a project that we've been working on for a while. Uh, it's being tested on some wikis, and it's going to be released to Wikia Labs uh, pretty soon, within a few weeks, for everybody to try out. Um, this screenshot is from Muppet Wiki, and the link to the forums for the new forums is going to be in the On the Wiki tab in the top navigation, so it's right out there for everybody to see. 
Um, when you click on that, you come to this. Uh, this is the new version of the form index page. Uh, the layout and the information here is a little bit different. Um, there's the board list, which is essentially the equivalent of the categories. And on the right, we're also highlighting the latest active discussions and the people who have posted. For admins on that wiki, uh, there is a manage boards button at the bottom of that index page. And when you click on that, it takes you to this, which is the board management page. Um, there are a few default boards when you just turn on the, the new forms. Um, general discussion, news and announcements, new on the wiki, questions and answers, and fun games. Uh, set up for you if you turn it on. Uh, those are pretty uh, standard for all kinds of form software. So a lot of times people are familiar with what they're supposed to do with that. But on this board management page, the admins can set it up however they want. You can create new boards with new titles and descriptions. You can rename boards or edit the descriptions. You can delete boards that you're not using, merge them into others, um, and order them however you want. So the idea is it comes equipped with some standard form uh, boards, but then you can make sure it fits uh, the kinds of conversations that you want to have on your wiki. And if someone starts a thread that's on the wrong board, you can move discussions to the correct board. Um, that's just a little uh, drop down menu item and it moves it right to the other board. But uh, that thread page stays the same. So all the notifications, the history, contributions, any links will all still stay connected to the the correct place, the correct thread. But if that happens a lot, and you find that you're moving boards all the time, you might want to consider renaming uh, some of the boards or uh, rewriting the description to set people up for success. Board pages. Uh, so on board pages, this is a place to, to help keep up with conversations about, about these topics. On a board page, you can browse for conversations. Um, the most recently active conversations filter up to the top. And there's also a prompt at the top to add a new thread in that board. Um, another way to keep up with conversations that are happening in the forum, uh, obviously, it's the same notification system. So if you're following a conversation, or you've participated in one, you're going to get notifications in that same top right drop down. Uh, the activity also appears in recent changes, you know, wiki activities is another way. Um, and if you want to follow every conversation that's on a specific board, let's say, you know, this new on the wiki board, I really want to stay on top, you can just click the follow button in the toolbar and you'll be notified of every new conversation. Uh, a couple brand new things for this new uh, forum feature. One of them is highlights, which is just for admins on a wiki. Um, if there's a particularly important discussion on your wiki, uh, the admin can choose to highlight that discussion. All that does is every logged in user who comes to the, the wiki uh, gets a one-time notification about that thread to go look at it. Um, if you click through and look at it and you're not interested, you don't get notified about it anymore, but it's a great way that admins can uh, make sure that everyone at least sees important announcements or important discussions. Uh, there's more visibility really than what we've got with the current media wiki forum or with the community forum. There's also a new thing called topics, which is a way to connect threads to each other and to article pages. Um, the example that I use, because I'm from Muppet Wiki, uh, for how topics work is, let's say I've got a conversation on the, on the forum about whether Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy really got married at the end of the Muppets Take Manhattan. I can, the, the topics that would be relevant for that conversation is Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, or the Muppets Take Manhattan. And uh, so if I'm interested in conversations about Miss Piggy, using that as a topic will help to filter all of those conversations and show the ones that are relevant to me. So the way that topics work when you're either creating a new thread or while you're reading a thread that already exists, there's a little um, entry field like you see there on the slide. And as you start to type, it gives you a dropdown uh, that fills in with article pages that exist. Um, you, can, you can't just free type in the, the topic field. You can only sort of use that dropdown menu. The only topics that can exist on a, a forum thread are article names that exist on the wiki. And that's to help people avoid misspellings or different ways of talking about the same thing. Um, so the topics will help you discover more conversations about the topics that you're interested in. And 
there's some more stuff. There's, uh, we'll be coming soon in Wikia Labs, hopefully within the next few weeks, so that every admin will be able to turn it on and try it out on their wiki. Um, a couple of the new things that are coming up for this Wikia Labs release uh, will be a tool for the top section so that you can add a, a way to display your forum policies or frequently asked questions um, so that you can give everybody the correct context to participate in the forum. And then we're also working on, uh, on some features that help to integrate forum threads with the rest of the wiki. So when you've got those um, the topics that help to show relevant article pages where uh, a forum conversation makes sense, we're going to be adding links to those forum threads at the bottom of those pages. And also in that same place, providing a way to start forum threads from article pages. So if I want to have a conversation about Ms. Piggy when I'm on this page, I can just view it straight from there. So we really want to connect these conversations with the place the readers are looking, the place that contributors are looking, and not just sort of uh, push it away off to the side. Um, so we're still this is going out to Wikia Labs in a few weeks, and there's a lot more that we want to do with it. So we're really excited about having people start to use it and tell us what they think. Um, it's important having these conversations and having a clear way for everybody to do it is really important for us, and so we're excited about getting it out. Um, the new power contributor to your wiki might be on the other side of that screen, so we need to be welcoming to all the new people and get them involved in those conversations. To see the current version of the forums uh, before it goes into Wikia Labs in a few weeks, you could look on community test Wikia, or you could look at some of the existing test wikis, Muppet Wiki is one of them, uh, or Lego Wiki, uh, Xenoblade has it, South Park. There's a good little handful of wikis that are um, that are trying it out and really talking a lot with it. So looking forward to seeing what you guys think in a few weeks. Wonderful. And as Yanni mentioned, if you uh, want to see it but not to mess with the wiki, you can go to Community Test, which is our open community site, which I'll actually pull up in a minute, and you can try it out there. Uh, thank you both, both Sansei and Danny. This took a lot of work to pull together, so I want to really thank you and Bert in the background for helping out. Uh, so everyone who is attended or listening in the future uh, know you can always find help and resources on the community wiki. And this will actually uh, be uploaded there. We've been recording it, so it will be there soon. Uh, we're going to move on. There's actually been only two questions sent in, so please send in questions. We've got uh, two experts before our very eyes uh, for a little longer. So any and questions? Experts in talking, so. And experts in talking. And experts in talking, talking with us. So um, one basic question that came through Danny was, do we have to have message wallets enabled to use the new forums? Uh, no. No, not anymore. That was uh, when we first uh, had the first very, very early versions of the forum. It was connected to the message wall, but uh, the version that's going into labs, you can have either message wall or forum for both. Wonderful. Um, I will pull up community tests in a minute and just kind of walk through in case we missed anything. But while I do that, one really good question that came through for Sansei from the beginning was, Someone asking, when starting a new wiki, when should policies be implemented? Is it better to have a foundation or wait for a larger community to be established before building the policies? I think it's useful to have a, a small foundation, but it doesn't have to be extensive. You don't need to try and uh, have a policy for every possible situation because that will grow with your community. It's good to have a general idea of this wiki's tone is this way we have fiction here, we keep to the facts here, or whatever you want as the basis for your wiki. Um, and it's always good to have a page to point to that reminds people to keep things nice and to, to, that you want it to be a happy and productive place. Um, but outside of those basics, you really don't need to have every single condition um, into a policy and ready. Um, that will come with time and that will come with people. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. A follow up kind of to that, any advice in getting users who want to participate? So how do you, you know, policies aren't as fun as writing about Kermit. So how do you, how would you say, we kind of talked about where to have the conversations and how, how to encourage people to think kind of more, hey, I want to actually participate in a policy chat. I think the main thing is to ask them personally. Um, if you're not getting people to come to a policy decision, that's uh, so to a policy discussion that's on your wiki, um, then look for the people that you want to be part of that. 
and they may not even be on your wiki necessarily. You could go to somebody you respect and say, hey, I've got a new wiki. Um, I'm trying to work this out. I know it's not a wiki you're on, but I would really appreciate some advice. Would you come over there just to talk about this? Um, as long as you're not being spammy with those requests and, and going over the top, as long as you're asking politely, it's, it's a good way to ask people to, to give their input. Um, how do you know, so on that, once you have the policy ready, how do you kind of um, deal with an overwritten policy? So sometimes we see policies that are extremely long and extensive. How do you, where would you say the line kind of falls? Well, I'd say the first thing to do with an overwritten policy is to write a simpler version, not necessarily to instantly throw out the long version, but to try and really distill the, the essence of that policy. What is it you're actually trying to do and make a smaller version? The larger version can be there for the people who will want all the details, or you may find that in distilling it, in writing it down in a simpler form, you find bits that you really don't need after all. And so you can simplify the policy anyway. And what kind of, uh, as a follow-up, what kind of language would you encourage people to use? Definitely encourage people to use really straightforward language that doesn't use too many complicated words or legalistic words. It's not necessary. It's much more important for people to know you can do this than it is for them to see your fancy words and put in complicated ways. Yeah, I think the vocab too can, you know, sometimes when you use kind of a really high level vocab it can kind of go over some people's absolutely heads. absolutely there comes a point in reading policies where you just glaze out totally. and you're no longer actually following the policy because you haven't managed to read it all yeah <laughs> um, another one that has come through is if your wiki kind of has a history of always doing the direct vote but you kind of feel consensus is better how how do you encourage okay maybe we should move away from the vote into consensus have a community discussion about it <laughs> would be my answer there yeah so yeah so the idea is maybe vote on whether consensus matters <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lovely vote to see yeah but bringing it up just probably saying hey yeah. i notice every time we do this we've been doing a direct vote and a lot of times mm -hmm. that direct vote is only one by one yeah. Point. The problem with a direct vote is that it, it usually means very fixed options. With a consensus discussion, you may find that there's another option that none of you thought of yeah. that really will work and that people can get behind. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Oh. Uh, so the question is, in reference to the message walls, are they eventually going to be mandatory for all wikis that the expanded nav was, or are they kept optional in the visible feature? Uh, that's a very good question, and we're not sure yet. Um, we're sort of still working on these features. Um, the next sort of part of the message wall feature really that we wanted to make sure to connect to it is the forum, which we're still working on. Um, there's, I've been working, we've been taking these features, I think, pretty slow. Uh, I've been working on these for, I think, a year and a half so far, and uh, there's still some more stuff that we want to build into it. Um, so what we've been doing is sort of creating these features, making them available to people, seeing how people use them, and then continuing to improve on them. So that's that's still where we are right now, um, and making a decision about whether it goes completely site-wide is still a little bit in the future. Okay, yeah, I think a lot of it is, as Danny mentioned, is we're trying this out live now, so mm -hmm. we don't really know all those answers. Um, one kind of mix of a question is, how do you, uh, so obviously the forum will be linked in the navigation, but how do you, or how do we hope to encourage people to participate there? So now we see often, right, a lot of communities have forums, but they're not that active. Any kind of advice for yeah, that's how the, to get the people piece to go that's, there? Uh, the piece that's coming up uh, with the next release when we go into labs is going to be really a direct call out uh, on article pages, which is what people are reading, want to know about, uh, that says if you want to start a conversation about this topic, gives them a link, takes them into the forum. Um, and that, I think, is going to really surface um, the fact that those exist. Um, we're going to try that out. We're going to see how that works. But that's definitely the question that you're asking is, is really huge for us, sort of figuring out uh, how to make that stuff integrated, that uh, the wiki isn't just the, the end product that we create. Really, the exciting, fun part of the wiki is getting people involved and uh, getting everyone to participate. Nice, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, since we have the, the form on the screen, I was just going to point out some things. So one thing I 
that you can see is, you know, as Danny said, here's a just general discussion. And then there's a space for a little description of what the board is. I think this is nice because right now, sometimes on the forum, right. you can't like, okay, support request or general discussion. Well, I don't know which I have. Right. So that's a nice area. If we go in here, I think one thing we forgot to mention, but I like also is um, there's a filter, right? Yeah. So there are filters of the most recent activity or the most active in seven days. So if you were perusing as an admin, you've been on vacation and want to see, okay, what are people chatting about? Um, you can actually see that as well. Do we want to talk just to mention a little shout out to what kudos are? Sure. Kudos is a experimental feature that we're still messing around with. Um, it's a way of expressing appreciation for what somebody has said. So as Sarah's showing you on the, on, the, on the example there, if somebody has written something that's really smart or a question that's really great, uh, you can just give it a thumbs up, um, click on kudos. And right now what that does is it just records it. Uh, and it'll show you, so Sarah, do you want to just give something? Do that. Kudos. Let's do that uh, what that does right now is if you hover over that one kudos now, uh, over the over the number, let me click on that. Yeah. Then that shows you who liked it. Okay. Right now, that's all kudos does. There's some other stuff that we want to do. We're basically uh, use that as a way to uh, to show not just the most recent conversations, but also the most popular or the most interesting. Uh, we haven't built that stuff yet, uh, but that's one of the things that we're hoping to work on uh, early in the new year. Wonderful. Is there anything else? Um, is anyone asking from the the crowds here about uh, that you'd like to hear straight from Danny um, about like new features that new you features, that you're to see? Or we're, this is still kind of work in progress. So I'd love to know what we haven't included yet that you'd like to see. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested to see how the, the topics work out too. So the good example is as Danny, um, mentioned earlier is here as you're adding the topic, which I'm not going to do because it's a real wiki, uh, <laughs> but you can see these are the pages. So Miss Piggy or Miss Mousy, Miss Mousy. I've never heard of her, or Miss Finch. Go to <laughs> I know. This is where you can add add those in. And you can't just write, which I think would be a fear for me, you know, spam it with ABS. Uh, like it's always pages that it's related to. Um, okay, I'll wait for more questions. Up oh, here we go. So, with this new form enabled, does community corner go away? Uh, not yet, but not now. It's still going to be there. But community corner, uh, the community corner, your time is coming. Some of this is <laughs> that we're doing. Like right now, we're not uh, taking out features with the new forum. Definitely, the old forum namespace. Um, that stuff gets archived, which basically just means it's only editable by admins, and there's a box at the top that says, hey, this is the old forum, this is archived. Um, yeah. And then with a link to the new forum. Um, but there's a lot of, and the reason why um, we're archiving the old forum when we've got the new one is obviously it's kind of confusing when you're telling people, yeah, use the forum to talk about this stuff, and they don't know which one. Um, there are, we've got a lot of different kinds of uh, conversation features all over the site. Definitely one of the long-term goals for us is to make all that stuff work together. Mm -hmm. um, for right now, especially as we're starting to roll out um, the new forum in Wikia Labs, there are some things that are duplicates. Um, so definitely like the highlight feature is something that we think, once people use it, is gonna replace the, the way that folks are using the community corner. Um, if that works out, if people like it, then yeah, um, mm -hmm. we'll make community corner go away. Um, uh, right now there's gonna be some overlap. Yeah, and I think that, uh... You know, trying out these features and giving feedback is what we need all of you um, mm -hmm. out there to help us so that we know what how those feel. Actually, on that note, someone had asked um, how these forums would be worked in conjunction with the official, with the current ones. So mm -hmm. you kind of answered that. But then someone following up on that wanted to know, will the archives be viewable? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So by archiving, we mean you can view them, but you just can't update them. You won't, they are, won't be editable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But definitely um, one of the really important principles that we've been using as we've been working on all these products is you know what we did with um, when you turn on the message wall, the user talk pages get archived. As you turn on the new forum, the old forum will get archived. But archive does not mean thrown away. It does not mean delete it. Um, it's, as wiki people, we know how important that history of conversations is. 
uh, to ha having the spirit of the wiki, the history of the wiki, and really to understand what's going on. So nothing that we do is ever about deleting or, or throwing away old conversations. Wonderful. Um, someone was wondering, I think, kind of a, about the highlight tool. So is there a way to promote discussions if it's happening outside the forum? So is the highlight tool right now, uh, they're saying, for example, an article talk page or admin promotion it is, can you use highlight yet outside of the forums? Uh, the highlight right now, the highlight is for forum conversations um, because forum conversations can be linked to a topic. You might, if there's something that's important, uh, you might want to use the forum instead of the article talk page and use the highlight for that. Wonderful. And then someone was asking, so these forums, do they exist in a different namespace? Uh, sort of, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like there's there's three basic uh, pieces of it. There's the index page, which is just going to be at special colon forum. Um, there are the board pages, which is a new namespace, which is board colon. And then the discussions themselves is something that we've already got with message well as a namespace called thread. There's thread colon and then the number. Um, that's the same for both for message well threads and for forum threads. Um, the reason why we're doing that is because we want to be able to easily move uh, a conversation somewhere if, for example, it's posted on a wall and really would be more appropriate for the forum, you can move it over to the forum. If it's on the wrong forum board, you can move it to another one. In the future, though. Yeah, so that right now, future like, moving, ideas. Yeah, moving from, from one board to another on the forum, that's something that we'll have when it goes into lab. Um, moving from the wall to the forum or, or vice versa, we won't have yet, but it's something that we want to build really soon. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, a question back to Sanse. Um, in the community discussion, uh, let's say a policy, how might an admin deal with a contributor who's leading discussion off topic or leaving unnecessary posts? I think it's, it's as with anything else that somebody is doing that, that feels disruptive, the first thing is to talk to them, um, possibly in a separate conversation on their, their wall, um, to say to them, hey, this is really coming. A, going off topic and it's it's pulling the conversation away can you keep to the topic and make a new thread for whatever you want to talk about so that's got to be the first step if somebody keeps doing it despite being asked not to there does come a point where an admin is going to have to say you're not taking part in this discussion it's it's hurting us too much and it's hurting the wiki too much to have you do that but hopefully that's pretty rare and usually just a, a quick hey you're going off topic is plenty to bring them back Great, thanks. I think that is um, most of the questions that we have gotten. I want to really thank uh, everyone for attending, uh, for wonderful questions, and for listening to us on a Friday evening. I really want to thank Sansei, Danny, and Bert for all their help with this webinar. And all of this has been recorded, so we will get it up live soon on Community Central. And we hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. So thanks for coming, and happy editing. Thank you very much. Bye.